Belarus to Cyprus and he's on the move again. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about Isaac Amwakon. Isaac, good morning and welcome. Morning. How are you doing? By the grace of God. How come you've traveled a lot like that? Yeah, it's just by the grace. It's just by the grace of God. Okay, so who is Isaac Amwakon? Well, thank you for the opportunity. Mm. Isaac Amwakon is a, a player. Mm. I started my coast career with Kutubabi Power Lines. Kutubabi Power Lines, yes, okay. I know why, that particular team yeah, very well. That is where I started mm. my playing career. Okay. And then after the course, I went to into Midland, Mambo with Midland. Mambo, oh, then you are a close neighbor. Yes, Mambo with right. Midland. Yeah. So after Midland, that's Bimbo. Yeah, Alaji Bimbo. Alaji Bimbo. I play with wow. the likes of Prince Tego, Kwekwesian. You play with Prince Tego, Kwekwesian, okay. And then also Bonsu, the defender yeah. for my house of football. Okay. At Midland. Midland. At Midland. So then from there I moved to Liberty Professional. Okay, 2006. so let's 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 look at the story once again. So from power lines to FC Midland. So which you did you grow around the Kotobabi Newtown area or where did you grow up? Yes, I grew up around Kotobabi. Around uh, Kotobabi. Yes, okay. That is where my family's house is. Okay. And you as a young boy, did your family support you to play football or they had issues with you going into football? Well, you know, by then it wasn't easy mm -hmm. when I, I remember when they said we were a footballer, we are a cobola and so uh -huh. stuff things. And my father couldn't permit me because he, he said, I've given birth to you to go to school and learn, become somebody, mm. not a footballer because football, those days they said footballers are cobola Kubolo, and they can stuff. So I have a, a lot of challenges with my fam fam family. Uh, I remember my sports teacher, we were about to go to Ayawa, so we we enter schools after inter school. So which school? I went to Abavana. Abavana, okay, yes, okay. I went my junior school, junior high to I went to Interco Preparatory School. Okay. So after the inter schools, I was chosen to Ayawa, so the the regionals. Mm. Later, <laughs> my father just bent my boots and wow. stuff that no. He won't let you play. He won't let me play and a lot of things. But by God being so good, I think the, the teachers sp came in and spoke, spoke to him. To him. And then he accepted. He accepted. Okay. And then that is where mm. God has been good to me. To okay. Know. So from uh, your junior high, did you continue to the SS or you concentrated? Yeah, I continued. I went to uh, uh, St. Augustine. Okay. St. Augustine in yeah, Cape Coast. In Cape Coast. After okay. St. Augustine, I, I, I completed UCC. Okay, so you are a, a, a graduate. Yes, please. Wow. So then that, 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 that is a perfect example for boots and books. Sure. Because people have argued that we shouldn't take the books away from the boots. But some say we should just concentrate on the books. How were you able to do the books and the books? Well, it was something that, uh, as I earlier said, uh, it was by the grace of God. Um, I, before joining Liberty Professionals, mm. I spoke to the management and then I legislated to the owner of the team that this is what I was pursuing. Mm. So The books if, were there, you also yeah, wanted to do the sure. books. And I've, I've asked them to give me that permission. If after league match, I'll go lectures, after lectures, then they say, okay, mm. no problem. Mm. No problem with that. So we scheduled. Mm. And I, I wasn't one. I wasn't alone. Mm. I was with James Alban. James mm. Alban was also a graduate from Winneba. Winneba sure. University so of Education. University of Education. So we we just come to an understanding. That is where after training I have to go to lectures and then come back to training. That is where by the grace uh, I've, I've ended up. Okay, so you are still watching the interview with Isaac Amwakun. He is a player that has uh, traveled a lot, even on the local scene. Started with uh, Kotobabi Power Lines, graduated to FC Midland in Mamobi, and then to Liberty Professionals. And so we will be digging into his career. But one thing I love about this particular player is that he is a graduate from the University of Cape Coast. So what did you study in Cape Coast? Basic physical, basic expression. Wow. So. Among your colleagues, how did they treat you knowing that you are a graduate? Oh, no. I wasn't a, only graduating Liberty. 
and even in the Ghana League, mm. we have a lot of graduates. N yeah, but we have the likes of Chipsa, yes, uh, Frank Boatin, and and and, and, and co. Uh, being in the Liberty team with that schooling, I think we have a good cohesion, understanding. The players are there, okay. even when I'm not there. Others are, others are there to, to, I mean, to do the job. Okay. The likes of Kofin Tibuachi, Tua Kemis, Michael Hellegbe and stuff. And, and those were the days that the league was so perfect. So perfect. Strong. Even you could talk of the top four, because the names were there. These names you are mentioning are bringing some <laughs> nostalgic <laughs> feeling to me. So now let's run through the transition from uh, Midland, then you went to Liberty, Liberty Professional. Professional. Right? Yes. So it was Alaji Slaitete who spotted you there. Sure. Wow. So how 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 was uh, the reception at uh, Liberty Professional? Oh, it was good. I had a, a, a good season. After the 2006, 2000, 2007, 2008, one touch Premier League. Mm. By the grace, I couldn't even complete the season. Mm. After the first round, uh, that I, I had a, a good season. I have a good mm. season. So he said, well, "You, it's about time for us to do business. Football is business." So this team is looking for you if are you ready to go i said i'm with you if only you people you allow me mm. i don't have any problem so my first trials was on jimbo cosmos in south, Af cosmos, okay. in south africa that, that was uh, 2011 no 2008 2008 okay so after was and then i went in two weeks trials but by the mm. grace of god uh, it okay, was, so it took, there it took, you have on your screen it, Isaac Amwako. So what trophy were you holding? At at the, at the, at the Zambia in Zanapo. So this I was, was the, in Zambia. I okay. was the top scorer in you my club. You were the top scorer in wow. my club. Wow. After fifteen matches in played for them, mm -hmm. I had it a twelve goals. Okay. So so we were at uh, Jomo Cosmos. That was your first trial outside. Yeah. And how did that go? Smoothly, by the grace of God, uh, I went there and then. One week later, they said, man, you are the right choice for us, so we want to work with you. And I said, okay, you can contact the, my management. Mm -hmm. I'm not alone. You can contact them so that whatever it is, we take it from there. So that is why I started my professional career outside as okay. a footballer. And then from there... How long did you stay in uh, South Africa? I, with I, I, spent, I spent three seasons in Three South seasons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then moved from there, moved to Anderlecht. And so from Jobo Cosmos to Anderlecht in yes, Belgium. Yes, please. And how was the, that the experience too uh, in Belgium? Uh, I mean, it was it was good. And Belgium is noted for producing a lot of good players, and because the clubs in Belgium, you know, Ghanaian players also excel very well there. Sure, sure. Did and you meet any Ghanaian player when you were with Anderlecht? Yeah, a lot. Okay. A lot. Uh, I met. I was there when Franca Champon. Okay, when came. Franca Champon from came. Remember, Champon came from Thailand. I was there. Then he had opportunity to come to the national team when we are mm. going to, under 20, when they are going to Africa. Mm. And I told him, no, you know, it's about time for you to achieve whatever you are here for. So just wait and pause and let's see the outcome of this is a club side, not a, a, a national, national team. So national team. It's on and off. You understand it. So we spoke and we talked much and by the grace, Today, he's, he's also doing well. Mm, mm, mm. So from uh, Anderlecht? From Anderlecht, I went to beat Berisov. Okay. Uh, Anderlecht, I had opportunity to play in the Champions, Champions League. League with Anderlecht. Which, which, which club did you face in the Champions League? I, 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 I featured in uh, East, uh, Apple Nicosia. Okay. We went, that was three years ago. We went there. We beat them there and then beat them at home. I was on the bench. I came in as a sub. And then, I, I think six. I had a, I had a good uh, platform with Anderlecht during the Champions League. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So after that, and I moved to beat Baristov in Belarus. After the season, that is where Belarus uh, beat also came in to come in. I mean, mm -hmm. join the team, beat Baristov. So that is where I also went there. And then by the grace, they also qualify for the. Champions League, and I was part of the team to Spain. We went to Real Madrid. 
they scored us home and away seven mm -hmm. but you had the opportunity to be at a santiago sure, ben about sure. to play them so at, at, at that time which players were there which players did you play with against madrid madrid that was that time they are the the talisman C Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo was there. All the, all the guys. Raul all, Gonzalez was there. No, Raul wasn't there. Okay. Cristiano Ronaldo, Marcelo, Marcelo. Ma Modric, Casemiro, oh, oh, okay, all okay, the guys. Okay. And then Cotua. Okay. Then Cotua was also there. Okay. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Great. And then from uh, there, from Belarus, you moved to. But from Belarus, I moved to back to Ghana. That's then, when Kotoko came into the yeah, picture. Yeah, 2012. Then. I came and joined Kotoko. I was part with a team to Serbia. We went to a tour, training tour at Serbia with under the management of uh, Kiki Sapo. Doctor Kiki Sapo. He is, I just I appreciate him very uh, much. Uh, why are you appreciating Doctor Kiki Sapo? What did he do right? I mean, Doctor Kiki Sapo knows best for players and then he knows he understands football mm. he understands the, the work and i think it's every man every player's dream to work with him kk support yeah. and at at his time at kotoko who who was coaching you didi was there didi drama sure. so that was when you won the league sure okay so what was your contribution also in the, the league back then in the league back there i think we I was part with the team we came to Accra Sports Stadium. We scored uh, Accra Sofok 1-0. And then I was part with the team that scored Brickham Jersey before taking the league mm. by then. Yeah. And I couldn't spend even two seasons in Kumasi as until Koto with the team. But I, I appreciate the, the, the support, the, mm. the love and the management, everybody. I appreciate everybody. Uh, though it was painful for me to go leave, yeah. leave but I mean, it wasn't my choice. It wasn't my intention to live like that. But it was. I, I was. Yeah, I was having a discussion with a colleague earlier on about. You know, now we have a lot of returnees coming back to the league. What do you make of that uh, phenomenon? That people who have played Europe, people who have played, have uh, professional careers outside the shores of Ghana, are now coming in. And uh, some people say, oh, they are just coming in to just use the local clubs to just launch their career back again. What do you make of that uh, uh, assertion? For me, I think it's good for them to come back to the mm. local league. And because when you see, when you watch back in Brazil, Brazil Brazilians, mm. they dominate Europe. Yeah. When things are not going on, they you go have back to go home. back home. And then, but I want to take this opportunity to, pull, uh, to plead Ghanaians. Sometimes when the players come in mm -hmm. to come and i mean play the local league or something oh they have this perception oh when you when oh, this oh this and that it's not that sometimes somebody can learn from the young ones can also learn from definitely them. and it makes the league interesting interesting and it makes the league good because i remember when ash good and uh, lego city were playing we were i was with Emmanuel Anson, some of the guys they say yeah you people play the league this time i mean you have the tilapati there mm. because the names you are going to meet are going to meet the likes of karim alasa steven tete i mean you have big names that you are going to meet but now who are they going to watch, watch at the stadium that is one thing that they used to say who are they going to watch what are they going to learn they are not going to be entertained because it's not interesting because the players inexperience and, and stuff and i said okay so coming back to them coming to ghana league and uh, it's about time to, for them to accept their own mm -hmm. you understand it to make the league attractive it's good i heard about richard kisibwati join rejoining Brecum chelsea jordan and Rimanuel clotty and stuff mm -hmm. i mean it's good to to make the league attractive and then to make they are not old if you watch their play i mean if you watch human olympics against i watch olympics against uh, calera glass and was fantastic yeah he was so superb and, but assuming people were saying hey, Charlie, when you oh, see, see, see. all those things it dampens the spirit people even don't want to come back home you understand it play. if if they had the opportunity to go and play fourth division second third division they'll go because when they come to their own country they always ambush them with such such ways 
You understand it? Mm. And uh, I want to just play Ghanaians too. I mean, accept them and then you, 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 they'll watch a good football. Mm. They mm. watch good football, mm. quality football. So it's a plea from Isaac Amwako that please when the professionals are back home to also play with the clubs, please let us accept them. Let us stop the negative comments that dampen their spirit that, that oh we we need mene isha oh mene mini banyefe all those things. If for nothing at all they bring experience back to the league that the young ones would also learn from. And you've also played in Africa, which other Aside South Africa, which other African uh, country did you play in? In in Africa, South yeah. Africa, I played for Zambia. You pl you played in Zambia, Zambia so Zenaco. Okay. Uh, how were the, uh, was the experience in Zenaco too? Yeah, it was good. I, I had opportunity to play it in Afcha Caf Champions League. With you played Zenaco. in it, okay. Yeah. Mm. With, mm. with Zenaco, before you moving to Cyprus. Okay, so we'll be looking at uh, your stay in Cyprus, but uh, looking at the. Okay, when you were in uh, Jomo Cosmos, maybe that was an earlier day. You did three seasons there. But when you look at South Africa, you look at the Zambian League and that which you experienced in Ghana. When you compare these three leagues, would you say our league is that strong and competitive as compared to these two? Well, it's a matter of branding and building our league because they are, we are all playing one league, football. And, but what makes it different is the pitches, mm. the payment. Uh -huh. and, uh, so because I had one player, he also mentioned about the payments. Because you can compare South Africa to Ghana. So what about Zambia? We, we eat cities, mm -hmm. right? And they they pay in dollars. Sometimes they pay in their local runs. currency. The run. Yeah. So what of in Zambia? In Zambia, it's the same. They if, pay in dollars. If, if you wanted to pay, be paid in dollars, they will pay you in dollars. If you wanted to be paid in their currency, local car And is it is it financially rewarding to play in the Zambian league than it was to stay in say Ghana and play in the Ghana uh, Premier League? The reason why I'm saying that is different is you know in, way back in South Africa when I was playing in South Africa, man of the match, they rewarded you five thousand rounds. When you come convert it to Ghana currency, it's almost three thousand Ghana cities. Ninety minutes. Compare it, excuse my language, somebody's payment here. Yeah. You understand it. Somebody's salary. How is it? Or something. So that the is what remuneration is far better. Then. It's far better. And then the pitches that you played on. on. Very good. You you will sustain certain injuries that it will keep you long. Mm. to come back okay the pitches is good i mean everything everything okay. was good. and then you comparing, moved to cyprus i believe comparing it ghana league we have talent ghana we have the talent, talent is there, there but the everything. facilities and then uh, the but financial believe, rewards but we'll get there i believe we'll get there with <laughs> we'll get the there. new gfa and yeah the yeah, branding yeah, and yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. they'll get there we'll get, we'll there, get there so in cyprus which team did you play for in cyprus and uh, what Romania. are some of the exploits that you did how many seasons in cyprus i signed now? four seasons but i couldn't complete all okay due to communication and one or two things but uh, i'll be moving from there so so you're on the move uh, we we are hoping for understanding negotiating understanding and everything okay so okay. where is uh, the destination Ghanaians, Ghanaians will know whatever happens. No, for we just now, want to know whether it will be in Ghana or it will be outside Ghana in Europe or in Asia. We, oh, we are also we are hoping for the best. I'm, I'm also I won't say much about that, but what I know, I, I believe in God. God's time is the best, and whatever wherever He takes us, He takes me is the best way for me. So, whether in Ghana, outside Asia, Europe. Ghanaians, you hear about it mm. for mm. now. For for now, I can't disclose it for now. But mm. what I'm hoping is, I'm hoping that God will direct us to a right team whereby we, our career and, and our talent will explode more. Mm. Mm. Uh, so, young ones watching you, what message do you have for them? Well, what I, I can tell them is football. So that's your camera, yes. Yeah, so look, yeah. Football is about one commitment dedication when you train you sleep resting is very important 
you rest you gain enough you get enough rest and then you regain your strength that you went in for that training respect and focus know where you are going you are a billionaire out there as a footballer mm. you are a billionaire on your own football is also you see Ronaldo see where he's coming from mm. I believe today he owns everything yeah and if he's, you are focused and you have vision you are you you get there what I want them to understand is it's all about focus and respect believe in God everything God first okay that is what it will lead you into every success you want in life has it been financial rewarding financially has the game rewarded you a so lot well? a lot <clears throat> and it has been good it has the game has paved a lot of ways opportunities the game itself i was nobody yeah. but today through the game through the game i can communicate with Otufo. wow through the game i met some dignitaries through the game i met i had opportunity to meet the likes of cristiano ronaldo as i said fifa president sablata and ghana here some of the presidents former president tamils and uh, had were you invited to any national team come yeah i was by the grace i was with the national under 17. Mm -hmm. i played for national under 20. i was part of the team that went to kwesiapia i worked with kwesiapia before in 2011 sorry maputo all african mm -hmm. games, all african sure. games yeah and then i had opportunity come 2008 four nation tournament blasters so it has been very lot of mm -hmm. ways for me okay so when you focus, you have your determination in everything. God first. God will lead you everywhere you want. Okay, so you're hoping to bounce back into uh, Sikiakono's team? God willing? God willing. Every player's dream to have played. To play leaders. for the national team yeah. again. So, God willing, if they've watched me and they've seen that I can also do something for the nation, why not? I'm hoping for that. Okay, so. Thank you very much, uh, Isaac Amwako, um, former Liberty Professionals and Santé Kotoko player, a world traveled player with a lot of clubs and even played for Anderlecht in Belgium, Jomo Cosmos in South Africa, Zeraco in Zambia, the list is on and on and on. And he's still on the move. So when he signs for a new club, we'll bring you that particular information right here on the Sports Coffee Show on Omi TV. Time for us to take a quick breather. We'll be back with the rest of the action. Keep watching Omi Television.